sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one is trying to help me. It's but why should they? And why would they even want to? After all, women have been telling men over and over again to leave them alone. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. They don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men because there are good men out there. That's a very good point. I'm not holding the door open anymore. I'm sorry. The few have messed it up for the many. I, I, if that door can hit you upside your motherfucking head, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm not holding the door open. I'm not giving up my seat. No, because no, uh -uh, I'm not doing it. Okay, oh, we on number six? Yeah. Hey, we, we moving. Time is flying, dog. You know, time be flying when you're having fun, man. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, video number six. They don't make real men anymore. A woman reacts to other women complaining about men not helping her. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> it's Bistro mm. Podcast. Mm. Let's go. Sitting out here struggling to get this in my car. Men are walking back and forth. No one hey. is trying to help me. Yeah, it, but why should they? And why would they even want to? <laughs> After all, so women have been telling men over and over yeah. again to leave them alone. Ooh. Women are independent. They don't need men. And now some are complaining when men are actually listening to them. <laughs> they don't make real men anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not all men, because there are good men out there. Out there. Yes, we are out here. Women, like, you don't see men holding doors anymore. They don't help anymore. They rush and sit down on trains and buses before women and pregnant women and elderly are sitting down. Mm -hmm. It's just a hot mess out here, but this really shouldn't come as a surprise. After all, isn't this what some women wanted? What modern feminism was pushing for? For women to be treated as equals to men, right? No special treatment needed. No need to hold open a door. Why help out? Women can do everything <laughs> themselves just as good as men can. Preach. But now it seems some are complaining Preach. that they got exactly what they asked for. God damn it. That, bro, you know what, man? Let, let, me, that, let me say this real quick. I remember, man, I, w I was in Center City. I was coming from the courthouse, man. So I'm, I, was coming, I was coming from work. And, um, you know, I'm holding the door open for this young lady. I held the door open, man. She just walked through. I ain't say anything. I said, ain't this a bitch? And then it started happening more than once. It started happening again and again. So, I, you know what? I'm not holding the door open anymore. I'm sorry. The few have messed it up for the many. I, I, if that door can hit you upside your motherfucking head... I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm not holding the door open. I'm not giving up my seat. No, because no, uh -uh, I'm not doing it. So to me, it's funny. Like we've been talking about this whole feminism thing throughout this, this episode. And I think that this new form of feminism has breeded entitlement. And these women are entitled. Yeah. So it's like, I think that chivalry also goes with uh, appreciation. I'm not being chivalrous and you're being entitled. It ain't happening. And I think that's where the disconnect is because I don't see too many men that want to purposely not be chivalrous, but it's again, we'll use the whole going out thing, mm -hmm. go out with a woman, take her out to eat. It's chivalrous to take you out. But why would you want to spend a thousand dollars at the, <laughs> it's like, you try to order two lobsters, like one on. for dinner. And one for a late or, night snack. Or like the, a, a, a couple episodes ago where homeboy was in there with his wife and he, she like, well, why we ain't, why you ain't paying for all my friends? Uh, Wait, yeah. what? Yeah. The, in, the sense of entitlement right now. So again, yeah. If we say to you, like women always say, I hate when a man say smile. Why you ain't smiling? It's just, I'm just, I'm just asking you to smile because you're a beautiful woman. And I mm -hmm. want to see that smile on your pretty smile on your face. But now you hit me with down. So now you want me to go outside and help you change your tire because it's flat? But all I asked you was for is a small smile? That's it. Come on, man. Like, you you can't have it both ways. You want That's us to it. be chivalrous, but you want to be a, no disrespect, you want to be a bitch. And I ain't do nothing to you. I was I just told my uh, homies in the barbershop the other day, sitting mm -hmm. at the bar, one of my friends, one of my, one of my cousin friends, he owns a bar. So we sitting at the bar. We're sitting having a whole conversation. Right here, it's a young lady sitting like two seats away from me on the other side. She's, I turn, she says, well, 
I've been sitting here, so I no, I've been sitting here all this time. So you don't, you don't think it was the right thing to do? Buy me a drink? I, <laughs> I don't even know you. I wasn't even talking to you with my people. I didn't even know you were there. So it's like you're just because you're a woman. You're so you buy me a drink, Heffa. You want me to buy you a drink just because you're female and you're sitting here? You didn't even start with a hey, how you doing? Yeah. N nothing. It's just a sense of entitlement because you're a female that now as a male I'm sitting here I gotta do something for you. Yeah, and I gotta I gotta do it's something. It's just for you. out of control right now. So yeah, like I'm a very chivalrous person, and because I have young sons, I want them to be the same way. I have respect for women, everything. Mm -hmm. My sons know. You see a woman coming, open the door. Say excuse but now they me. Like, you can't. But it's he, like, he, bro, like come yo, on. man. The few have messed it up for the many. El Plaga, oh, what's good, broski? Yeah, if the, you the have messed it up for the, for the many, I mean, that, listen, equality goes out the window, dog. When they don't want no equality, it's no, yeah. they don't want no equality. If you want you you want equality and buy when your own thing. Right. When ungrateful women need something, man, nah. like, it's crazy out here. Like again, it's, he said, to you, yeah, she on a whole nother level. <laughs> like I, that is ridiculous. You don't you don't know nor one y'all where, where y'all together, nah. And it's like again, Philly women. It's it's a shame because Philly women have such a bad rap. I'll be out and you could tell a Jersey woman from a Philly woman. Oh yeah, listen, dog. A Philly woman, they like you. You would think they was all correctional officers. Like they just in the trenches battling every day. Cause they come outside, they, they ready to rumble. You like, what did I do to you? Yeah, you know what's great. Fuck no. out of here. What you looking at? You like, damn. I remember, man. I remember I used to always say, damn, New York women are hard as shit. But now, bro, as I get older, man, our Philly women are hard as boy. Just, hard as fucking granite. Sometimes your heart is granite. Sometimes I'd be terrified. Like, do I want to speak to this woman? I'm not trying to get shot. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Damn. Hey, how you pop? <laughs> like, oh, damn. <laughs> well, I'm all packing heat now. Everybody got license to carry. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I swear to God, I've seen every Philly woman I know got a license to carry. Listen. Everybody, everybody got bangers in their purse. So you want me to come and speak to you? Hey, how you doing? Is it okay if I buy you a drink? No, I'm not trying hey, to. Hold on, bro. Don't run a boy from behind. Oh, no. Don't run a boy. They, going, they, they coming straight to the purse. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's hard out here. Yeah, <laughs> man. This your podcast, man. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you uh, leave your comment. Tell us what you think. Share this joint, god damn it. You know what I'm saying? That, look at Tay, yeah. I know. T be starting. T be starting. Boy. How we cherry pick? Man, we don't I, cherry pick. T, how do men be cherry picking? We don't cherry pick. Like, again, men are very easy across the board. For the majority, we're all the same. Like, you know, at the What's end that? of the day, we really want the same thing, all of us. So it's very easy for you to, you know, talk to a guy i mean half the time we going to hold the door because we want to see what your butt look like i mean that that could be yeah. true. <laughs> but if you're gonna be ignorant about it man how the door you got it's like man. it's really like gladiator out here these days you got yeah you, you out here surviving you don't, you don't know what you what's, what's gonna happen when you open your mouth it's yeah. terrible yeah i mean what happened back in the day man you just hit him outside the head of the club and dragging by their hair right to back to your cave uh damn the things are going. The thoughts and views of uh, my co-hosts here uh, are not shared by. No, man. Man, of them days, I hit the right side of here with this damn club and shit. Take you back to the cave. Do, do them things to you. Oh man, again, man, leave your comment, man. Tell us what you think, man. If you don't